Inside the Indiana Farmers Coliseum, the final game of 2023 IUPUI coming up short today to Cleveland State 86 to 77. Post game with Coach Bob Lovell, I'm Scott Agnes, and this was a game that lived up to the billing, a competitive game yeah, throughout. Yeah. Coach, it was just really the Vikings were able to close over the final few minutes. Well, they, they closed really well at the end. You see, you're talking about two teams yeah. that have been have played well lately, and it looked like it. it was a competitive game. And both teams made comebacks. That was what was fun about it uh, in, in the second half. Both teams went at each other hard. But Cleveland State making the plays at the end that they needed to make. Jags had some shots that, that just didn't go. And credit Cleveland State for hanging in there and making the plays down the crunch time when they needed to. Let's take a look at how this game transpired as we go to the highlights and in the first half for IUPUI is Bryce Monroe finishing 14 of his 16 points in that first half a game that uh, really was a one possession game throughout much of the way it really was Monroe was huge doing what he does by taking the ball to the glass and then you, you see this too in Cleveland State a little kick out and I'm tell you right now they shot the ball extremely well right there is where it changed well, when no, Woodridge we, knocked down all those triples I to begin the right. second well, half they gave him that separation that they needed and, and uh, they stayed right with it but through that when Cleveland State's able to build on this lead the Jags make a comeback themselves and start to chip away at it and then take a and take a lead late in the ball game and uh, Cleveland State responded and the their big time player uh, in Aruna did what he did down the crunch time and made some big, big baskets that were very important in the win. It was tied at 71. Then we saw the Vikings close on a 15 to 6 run, including the game's final eight points. As you take a look at the post game statistics right there, both teams shot it well when they weren't turning it over. The trouble was, too, for both teams, really, missed opportunities at the free yeah. throw line, including for IUPUI with the chance to take back the lead late. Well, you see it right there. I mean, uh, Three-point shooting was not strong by the Jags. Again, they still struggle. Uh, field, the free throws were an issue, as you point out. But it was a cleanly played game. It was a fun game. It's a great way, I think, to start the new year for both of these teams. For the Vikings, J Jason Woodridge finishing with a career-high 23 points in this one as Cleveland State gets the win. Up next for IUPUI, they're on the road on January 4th at Robert Morris.